Terror from Above is the Series 1 vignette for Final Girl where you'll be fighting against the birds in a location of your choice. In this scenario, the birds are minions who don't move but they multiply every turn. You lose the game either when you die or when they overwhelm you by having three birds in every space of the map. As the Final Girl, you're trying to survive long enough to unlock your ultimate ability or for all the victims to be saved or killed. After this happens, one to three special victims will come out of hiding. You win once you've escorted all these special victims to an exit and save them. In this video I'll go over the special rules for the birds and point out some commonly misplayed rules and cards. If you want a general overview of how to play Final Girl then check out my rules video before you watch this one. Terror from Above is a vignette which is different from a feature film. It comes with a killer but no location or killer board. It's packaged in a small deck box which includes all the rules, cards, and tokens you need to play the game. There are also bird miniatures available which you can purchase separately. You'll need the core box in at least one location from a feature film to play. The birds do not come with a killer board, so create your own by laying out a dark power and finale card next to the location board. Put the bloodlust track next to them with the tracker at the bottom and keep the spawn birds card next to you for reference later. Note that the birds start at horror level 4 as shown here. Next, choose a location and set up everything as normal. I'll be using Camp Happy Trails for simplicity. For the killer's starting space on the setup card, place a bird token with the side showing three birds face up. Place six single birds on all the other empty spaces with no victim or final girl. Note that events with special victims are not allowed in the game, so if you flip one as your starting event, just discard it and draw another. Finally, choose which difficulty you are playing by selecting either one, two, or three special victims and setting them aside for now. Choose one for easy, two for normal, or three for hard. The colors you choose don't matter. There is no killer in Terror from Above, only bird minions. Each bird has a health of 1, an attack value of 1, and no movement. Birds will never move on their own and can only be moved by special game effects on other cards. But more birds will spawn every turn as shown by this symbol in their default minion action. Whenever you see this spawning symbol or a boot icon, you spawn more birds. To spawn birds, roll two dice and choose one for the number of birds you're spawning, and the other number will determine where they spawn according to the spawn birds reference card. A 1 means you can distribute the birds across any number of spaces on the board. A 2 means any single space. A 3 means the nearest search space. A 4 means the nearest exit. A 5 means the nearest victim space. And a 6 means your space. So if we rolled a 2 and 4, we could either place 2 birds in the nearest exit or four birds in any single space. When spawning birds, there can never be more than three birds in a space. So the fourth bird would have to go in an adjacent space of your choice. If all the adjacent spaces already have three birds, then you expand to spaces that are two spaces away from the chosen space, and you keep expanding like this until all birds have been placed. The bird tokens have one bird on one side and three birds on the flip side. So if you place a third bird in a space, you can just flip one of the tokens and remove the rest. Remember that when all the spaces on the board have three birds then you lose the game. So to recap, whenever you see the spawning symbol or a boot icon you'll spawn birds and if you see multiple boot icons you'll roll to spawn birds multiple times. Also since there's no killer in Terror from Above, if a card ever tells you to move the killer then you'll spawn birds instead. And if a card ever specifies for you to place the killer somewhere then you'll place three birds there instead. Let's look at the birds default minion action again which says to attack and then spawn on birds. Whenever you see the attack icon, the birds will attack any space that has three birds, as well as the final girl's space as long as there's at least one bird. Birds attack one target in their space and they attack as a group and do damage equal to the number of birds in that space. Birds also attack victims first if the space has both the final girl and victims. For example, if the birds attack this space with three birds and two victims, they will attack one victim and do three damage to him, killing the victim and raising the bloodlust. And in this space with two birds, the final girl, and a victim, the birds will attack the victim for two damage. If the final girl had been alone, then they would attack her for two damage, and you could block this with a guard or retaliate if you wanted. In fact, there's a special rule in Terror from Above that says you can use reaction cards
guards like guard and retaliate to prevent damage to victims in your space unlike normal. So if there are three birds attacking a victim in the final girl's space, you can play a guard to prevent this damage. If you only get a single success to reduce the damage by two, then the victim will take a damage and die because he only has one health. But if you get a double success, then you'll prevent all the damage to him. Birds are a special type of enemy called a minion, and there are general rules for minions in the core rulebook, so let's go over them now. First, any reference to an enemy on a tarot card, item, event, or anything else refers both to minions and killers. Any references to the killer, however, do not apply to minions, and any references to minions do not apply to the killer. Victims will follow you into spaces with minions, and if a victim died this turn, then victims in spaces with one or more minions will panic. Attacking minions is slightly different, and you can kill more than one with a single attack. So if you're on a space with two birds and roll a successful fear strike doing two damage you can kill both birds since they each have one health. Also birds are special because they attack as a group so you can damage multiple birds with the retaliate. Normally for other minions this only works with attack cards and not reaction cards like retaliate. So if three birds attack your space and you get a double success with retaliate you can kill two birds. So to recap the killer phase you will first do the minion action which says the birds attack the final girl's space and any space with three birds. Then you'll spawn new birds by rolling two dice and finally you'll flip a tarot card and do everything it says. Minions do all killer actions shown on tarot cards and birds specifically ignore targeting requirements and always attack victims before the final girl. You win the game by saving all the special victims but they won't come out of hiding until either you unlock your final girl's ultimate ability or there are no more normal yellow victims on the board. Once one of those two conditions is met the special victims come out of hiding. Take the special victims that you set aside during setup and place them in the farthest search spaces from you with no more than a single victim per space. If you're playing on easy then you'll place one special victim in the farthest search space. If you're playing normal then you'll place a special victim on the two farthest search spaces. And if you're playing on hard then you'll place a special victim on the three farthest search spaces. Most locations only have three search spaces so you'd place one victim in each on hard. But Maple Lane has 12 houses so you'll choose the three houses furthest from you. If there's ever a tie you get to decide which space as long as you keep the limit of only one per space. Once the special victims appear you can win the game by escorting each one to an exit space and saving them. Special victims can never be attacked or killed but for all other purposes they are treated just like normal victims. Events with special victims are not used so if you ever draw one then just discard it and draw another. So that's all the special rules for the birds. Now I'm going to go over some frequently misplayed rules and cards. First is that some items might be useless against the birds like the bear trap and camp happy trails. The rules give you a choice here. You can either discard these items as they come up and draw a new one or you can just accept that sometimes you might find a useless item and keep it. It's up to you. Similarly some event cards don't make sense with terror from above so just discard them and draw a new one. Second is that if a space would perpetually kill all birds spawn there then you ignore that space when spawning and it's not counted as a space for losing the game when each space on the board is filled with three birds. Lastly I will reiterate that the birds don't move and instead spawn whenever you see a boot icon on tarot cards. If you see multiple boot icons then you'll roll to spawn birds multiple times. All right and that's how you play Terror from Above. Let me know in the comments what you think of this vignette and how you'd rate it compared to the regular feature films. If you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to me on YouTube. If you want to check out more of my videos then click the links on the screen and maybe you'll find a new game to play. And with that, Michael Skeleton is out.